Um, I waited for it to go on sale. Up oh, there we go, and he falls apart. That's how easy it is for for Groot to fall apart. A quick review of the new Lego Marvel Venomized Groot set number seven six two four nine six hundred thirty pieces. This set is really really cool. The cool thing about this set is that you can do like a half Venomized Groot and a fully Venomized Groot. Now, if some of y'all have been watching me on Instagram and some of my shorts, you will see that unfortunately, the manual that comes with the set, you can only do the half Venomized Groot with the manual. Otherwise, you have to download the Lego Builder app. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And you get the instructions off there to do the fully Venomized Groot. Other than that, this set's really cool. So this is a $50 set. You can routinely get it on Amazon for 40 bucks, which is what I did. I plan on getting a second one and doing like a full-blown like comparison review of these two as well as the original Groot. So I'm excited to do that. Um, if y'all are interested in this set, please consider using my Amazon affiliate link. will be in the description and pinned comments. If you're new here, slap that subscribe button. And let's just go over the set. I think it's really, really cool. But let's go over it together. All right, so Groot is 11 inches tall and 8 inches from left to right. If you want to eventually build the fully venomized, there is a whole bag here of these black pieces. And again, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a full review of the fully venomized one because I'm going to be buying a second one. There are some stickers, as you can see here right in the middle. There's two stickers. That's a printed piece for the eye. Sticker there, printed piece there for the, uh, the I guess, their teeth or whatever. And overall... It's a really, really cool set. Like, I love this. I was really, really excited to get this. And as you can see, there's definitely a fine amount of detail. Like, look at these. Like, these teeth, mouth things. And look, you all, you all can make fun of me, but I don't know what these are called because I never finished the Venom movie, unfortunately. What I will say was definitely a pain to build this set. Just like the original set. It's not the most sturdy. You can position the legs and everything, but I feel like sometimes the head does, it's like a little wibbly wobbly. It's not as sturdy as it probably should be, unfortunately. Put the camera a little bit closer. It's always hard to do the camera. Putting some of these back pieces on here was also a pain in the butt that kept falling apart. It's definitely a difficult build from that perspective. I would not recommend having a little kid build the set. The top here, let's see as you can, we'll get you the top here. And as you can see, it's definitely wibbly wobbly. But overall, this was a fun build. I'm really happy to have this come up to my collection. Um, I waited for it to go on sale. Up oh, there we go, and he falls apart. That's how easy it is for for Groot to fall apart. So with that being said, this is a must-have for all Lego Marvel fans. The leg fell apart. I got some rebuilding to do, and we're gonna end it on this. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know what you think. Slap that subscribe button because we're going to have more reviews of this set, fully venomized, and a full-blown comparison between the three sets.